Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Are you getting it in? Somebody's getting it for you. What's good, people? <laughs> Woo, what's good, people? It is the day, but every damn day we call Friday. Anyway, that being said, what's going on, people? Oh, I cannot believe it's Friday again. <laughs> We're rushing to get to somewhere. It must be the death. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, that being said, you know, there's a few questions that's been running in the back of my head, um, which I don't really like to ask people, and I won't, because I know there's shade amongst the building, and I know people like the opportunity. You never ask somebody's opinion unless you really want it, and nine out of ten, you really don't want it, because it's not, sometimes it might be the, the correct criticism, and sometimes it's just being mean, and you know, unfortunately, we have a lot of mean motherfuckers out here in the world. Anyway, that being said. You know, I always feel like this. If you've ever been with a female and you're a transsexual gay person or a woman who's been with a male and now she's a lesbian, does that make you bisexual? Because the simple fact of the matter was that you were with them, but, you know, does it make you bisexual in a, in a sense of, you know, um, oh, I had to get myself together. In the sense of, you had no problem with being with him and stuff like that. You know, I was with a woman. I was with a woman for four years. And trust me, we was getting it in. At the end of the day, it is what it is. And, you know, I always question my sexuality when it comes down to that. Um, because I've been with a woman before. And trust me, mother has lived. And it was nothing wrong with it. In fact, it's for some reason, I'm always embraced more by the Spanish community more so than the black people. Which, unfortunately, black people, I am a part of your community, whether you like it or not. Yes, I come from your community, and I understand you may not like me, but here it is what it is. But here it is what it is. And um, the girl I was with was Puerto Rican. The other guy I was with, as long as you was Puerto Rican. <laughs> the other guy was Puerto Rican. Espanol. Te amo mucho más. Mama Guevo. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well, I can't do much spending. Mother must got a little. Anyway, that being said, you know, and black guys, I just don't seem to, you know, get to that type of thing with them, and, you know, it is what it is. So, I always have the dilemma. I'm on a two-ring minimum. It shuts right off. Anyway, so, this is my thing. Being gay before transsexual, you know, I was with a woman and stuff like that. Um, she was very aggressive. I, she pushed herself on me. You know how they could be. So that's how I was with a woman, because other than I probably would never been with one. Anyway, so going from a gay boy to a transsexual and to dating straight men, oh, I want to ask straight men out there, which I, I want to know, and you know it's not all straight men, but what is it with straight men and condoms and rubbers? For some reason, when I come to the gay community, it says that we have no problem putting condoms on, getting it in, doing the nasty, throwing you against the wall, slapping you down the hall. Anyway, that being said, but with straight men, I've noticed this trend that with y'all, y'all don't like to use condoms. And it's like, oh, well, we've been together once. We don't need to use condoms. Are you good? I'm good. Are you clean? I'm clean. No, motherfucker, you're not. you keeping it on. That's my insurance. Because not because I've seen you straight men cheat. And, you know, I'm not going to knock that's what you do. But I'm not going to that's what you do. Because there's a lot of women out here who's raising babies by themselves. And you straight men are the one who gave it to them. And, you know, and some of you don't even take care of your responsibilities and stuff like that. So, as far as you putting a condom on and you don't want to use it with me, how many other people have used that this way too? But I have noticed this trend with y'all. It's like, oh, you don't want to give oral sex without condoms. Some girls do. This one don't. I feel like this. If you're not my man, honey, mm-mm. Mm-mm. And all that piss and shit, mm-mm, no. And I, I'm not saying everybody, you know, and... Hopefully your hygiene is up to part. <laughs> but I did notice that when it comes to street guys, when they put the condom on, they do that for you. And when you all into the motion and I'm touching you and getting it all in, they slide it off. When they come out one time, they pull it off and they go back in. And it's already off. You know, with that being said, you know, it is a crazy way of doing things. Guess what? I have a nosy fucking neighbor. He's staying right here, trust me, motherfucker's so nosy. Anyway, that being said, you know, the neighbor's always listening, honey. That was wicked people about the door and shit like that. And, you know, I guess, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, so that being said, you know, what is it with straight men who don't like to use condoms? And why is it when you have to sex, you motherfuckers like to take this shit off? At the end of the day, I'm thinking, you're trying to give me something. And, you know, I'm trying to get over a lot of falls that I have within myself as it is. And, you know, that's out of ten, I always feel like if you ain't one thing, you another thing. And, 
You know, and that's the thing about it. Most guys that you meet, you don't even know where they live at. And if you call them up and say, hey, boo, you need to get tested because I think you gave me something. Now, it's out of 10, you ain't even got his real name. And you don't even know where he lives at. So my thing is, this a girl's be safe. I don't give a fuck if that motherfucker say he just got tested. If you don't have no paperwork, and that paperwork is not doctored, I, I just don't. To me, I just say keep it on. You know, that's just my opinion. That's what I do. I trust no man. You know, and that's the kind of girl I am. I just don't trust you. And I'm not going to, you know, do that type of thing. But for some reason, I know it's what a lot of street men, when they see you all into it, they do not want to use condoms. And if they feel as though they had sex with you before, y'all don't, y'all already passed that frame of mind that you don't need to use condoms. I want to know if you girls have experienced this, that, you know, the guys don't want to take, put the condoms on or they always try to slip it off and, you know, try to go back inside your raw dog. What is going on and why is this so important to straight men? Oh, I can't have sex with a condom. I don't like the way they feel. Then I'm the wrong bitch you need to be with. And that's the way you girls need to be. I don't give a fuck how fine he is, how much money he got. Once he leaves you, he's gone. And trust and believe, he'll deny ever even being with you and he don't know you. And after that, he may beat you the fuck up. Anyway, that being said, that's just my thing for today. Girls, keep the condoms on. No safety backs, you know, and... That's why I don't have a man. I, I mean, if I don't have a man, I probably wouldn't even trust him. I, I, I'm not there yet. <laughs> Pray for me. <laughs> but I've noticed, and I always wondered, if you've ever been with a girl of the opposite sex, does that make you bisexual? I wonder if any of you ever been with, I know some of you oh, no, girl, I remember that. I'm, I'm all natural, bitch. Anyway, that being said, I want to say hello all new people. Boom, I'm going to say hello old people, bam. And I want to thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, I want you to do you, I want you to do you the best way you can. And if nobody don't like it, then fuck them.